Hello guys, welcome back to this uh, channel and thanks for viewing this video. In this video, we will talk about the starts with method, which is a method used for checking the prefix of a string. So it will check whether a given string starts with a specified prefix. This method will return a Boolean value whenever it is executed. Uh, it returns true if the given string begins with the specified prefix or it will return false if the given string does not start with the specified prefix. Note that the specified prefix must be of type string2. So there are actually two ways to use this method. The first way is by using the method with a single parameter. Let me show you how by taking a concrete example. So I will start by declaring my string variable. Value, uh, so I will call it str. Uh, and in here I'll write programming. And uh, now I'm going to call my method that starts with method and I'm going to call it inside my system that out that print line uh, statement. So how do I call this method? I need to write the name of the given string first. I called it str and then that the name of the method I want to call and the name is starts with and I'll open the brackets and inside the brackets now I need to write the prefix that I am going to check so I have chosen to check this prefix pro and if I run I'm supposed to get true okay yeah I'm getting true which means that this string that we declared here starts with the prefix pro and that's why it's returning true here so if i wrote for example pre here and then uh run this it will return false because the string value does not start with the prefix pre okay so that's actually how this is executed now in the second example i'm going to take uh, i'm going to show you the second way to use this method by passing two parameters that would represent the prefix and the starting index position so let's take this example so i will change this um string i will say that this string is uh, storing the value I love programming okay and now I'm going to call uh, the method and pass the two parameters as I said the um, prefix and then the starting in index position so here I will keep this one I will just change this index uh, this prefix I write love and x and then I will need to write the index position to here. So as you have noticed, love here represents the prefix. And then the second parameter here represents the starting uh, index position. And if I run this, it will evaluate to true because based on the parameters we've passed, index position two will be considered as the starting point of our given string. We have passed the starting point index position of two. And when the method will search for the index for the prefix love, it will find out that the prefix begins exactly at index position two. Okay. And as you know that the white spaces are also considered to be characters. So this is index zero, the white space is index one. So L here is index two. So as you see, 
from index two down here, you see love, which is actually the prefix that we specified in here. Uh, you will see, for example, if I change this and write, for example, here, I, and uh, leave the starting index position to two and run, I will get, it will return to false because from index position two, I don't have that prefix I here, okay? But instead, if I write zero here, it will return true because I is actually positioned at index zero. And then when the program runs, the method will see that at index zero, I have this character I, which is the prefix that I want to check and it will return true. So guys, uh, that was it concerning the stats with method, how you can check whether a certain prefix uh, a certain a given um, string starts by a, a specified prefix. Thanks for viewing this video. I hope this video has been informative and please don't forget to support this channel by liking this video and by subscribing to this channel. Let's meet in another video. Bye.